Hey pops, I just want to show you how I do the smoker. <clears throat> but this is the uh, this is the little funnel that I uh, do with my charcoals, and I put a fire up under the uh, actual canister of charcoals, and in about 10-15 minutes, those will get gray <clears throat> or lit. Then I'll just pour them in here into the barrel house um, charcoal basket. And this here is the smoker itself. I, uh, I'll be putting the meat, hanging the meat right on there. And it'll hang within the actual barrel. So, uh, so this is the setup. And uh, I'll show you all what, uh, what it looks like in a little while. Yeah, yeah Pops, this is the... Uh, these are the cubes, lighter cubes that I use under under the uh, basket when I'm lighting my my charcoals. So they actually show here where you can actually put them inside the the grill and put charcoals around them. But I've only seen people use them under the basket. So they got other you know a variety of different ones that you can use for that. So I poured the charcoal <clears throat> onto the, uh, the rest of the baguettes. So now I just have everything in there at the bottom of it, getting heated up. I set the, uh, the barrel house cooker on top of the, the base where the charcoal is that lifts up off and you can put it back on whenever you want to change that charcoal. <laughs> And my temperature gauge, we're showing about 280, 285, and 290. <clears throat> and that's kind of where I want it when I want to smoke under 300. So uh, I'm going to go get my meat and hang it. So Pops, yeah, this is uh, how the meat hangs in the grill. Got the fire down in there, and it just hangs over the fire and the drippings drip down on the fire throughout the cook, causing it to uh, keep ablaze and keep it at the right temperature. So I'll check back in a little while and let y'all know. All right, so coming out <clears throat> to the uh, smoker, my temperature set right over the two, 250. You see them ribs and the chicken going, that fire down in there, still going good. Smoke is coming off of there. So I'll check back with you. All right, coming out to the barrel house. We right at 220 with the temperature. You see that? We'll come on up off of it. Y'all see what I'm talking about? Uh, you can't meet the thermometer off the bench back. Yeah, they, them ribs are looking real good. Chickens as well. Come on. I'm going to push that uh, thermometer in the, in the chicken breast and see what we're working with. Looking for 165. Let's see, let's see that on. It's climbing up there. That looks incredible. Up there. It's right at 160. Look like it's trying to edge up there, but I'm gonna let it cook a little longer. I don't want to take it off too soon. Mm -hmm. Try this one. Mm -hmm. This one's about the same. A little higher. So I'm gonna let it go a little longer. But uh, those ribs looking real good. Pull one out so I can see what I'm doing. Wow, oh my gosh. See, I cut them shorter so they didn't hang so low. Let's see. 
smoke, so yeah. But I'll be taking those out and give them another hand. So, all right, I'm gonna check this. Uh, this chicken. It's getting right where I want it. Taking these ribs off here in a minute. Finish. So this is the chickens off of the grill. Nice. We we'll go cut into them and see how they. Uh, that was me about to grab see it. See how they look. So this chicken is is uh, ridiculously juicy. Uh, wifey is is carving it up. <clears throat> It's falling off the bone. Yeah, it's falling off the bone. You, you see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, we don't want This that. smoke is ridiculous. <laughs> so, I'm going to get into this uh, this rib here in a second. Wow. So, you see that smoke ring? <laughs> Crazy. Chef Marcus. See the juices. Juices pouring out of that thing. It's crazy. As the knife just slides through. You see that? Mm -hmm. Look at that. No effort. Very little anyway. But yeah, this uh, barrel house did its thing. 